Hello, welcome guys with me again, Panglima Kelapan. So today we are gonna talking about the next pure fiction. So maybe you are wondering, after you finishing Tales of Tethered Bird, maybe like you want to know about the next pure fiction. So I will tell you all you need to know about it. So uh, here we go. The title is gonna be an expression of eloquence number four so there's gonna be a uh, like a condition in here that gonna uh, buffing your character in here so accumulate the amount of damage deal by follow up attack by a lie when is damage amount which 100% deal a set amount of damage to all enemy so you need to uh, doing a really good job at uh, doing uh, at using follow up attack on your character and there's gonna be a damage deal to enemy so that's it the objective is quite uh, the same as the, the the previous one you probably already know and here there is three buff that you can uh, debuff uh, three condition like a uh, buff or debuff that you can uh, choose so uh, the here there's gonna there's uh, the one that called spiel this one is uh, for uh, the one who have a lot or uh, some character that really good speed in their roster so you can choose this one because this one whenever a character hit an enemy with a follow-up attack all ally action are advanced forward by 14 percent but this effect can only be triggered once for each attack so it's not really good but if you have a really fast character, you can using it. So in the middle, there is a flattery. This one is probably for the most people that uh, maybe uh, don't have a good uh, follow, -up, follow up character, not being built yet, or they are just not uh, like the character, or the, the, uh, yeah, or any type of uh, uh, reason. So because when ultimate deal damage to enemy target it will be considered as a follow-up attack so as long as uh, even though you are uh, don't have a good uh, follow-up attack uh, for character with follow-up attack as long as you can deal like uh, ultimate it still count as follow-up attack but if you have follow-up uh, character with good follow-up attack or a bunch of them you probably gonna you see learning because this this one is really good. Character follow up attack deal 50% increased damage, and this effect will be triggered one additional time after triggering whimsicality effect. So, this one is really, really good as long as you have the follow up attack. So, that's it. The first half here we go. The recommended, recommended type is uh, fire and ice. So, like you can see in here. In the first half, there's a lot of fire and uh, ice in 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 all in all character. So you can using it, and if you uh, maybe you don't have a, a good fire or ice, you can use imaginary character. Maybe like uh, the free one, like a uh, doctor ratio, but it's up to you. Uh, there you go. You can destroy all, especially if you have a uh, topaz or maybe uh, for uh, ice character maybe there is not really good uh, uh, follow up for ice character maybe uh, yanching if you have yanching but for this one uh, well, personally i will just using uh, a jingliu for this uh, for ice in here so that's it uh, but the phase 2 this is a bit tricky uh, like maybe uh, the sec uh, there's a fire and ice maybe the third character is not uh, imaginary but quantum maybe uh, like a debuffer like a uh, silver wolf to attack the uh, uh, ebon deer and also you need to remember there's ebon deer uh, throwing out some minion that really really annoying there's uh, the fine that have a uh, ice ice weakness that can uh, debuff your uh, like uh, paralyze your character and there is a uh, three that gonna be uh, healing the ebon deer that have a fire weakness so 
you need to remember that and also uh if you have a really good like a uh, quantum character maybe you can destroy the ebonir really fast like uh, maybe you have a uh, a shui like you really really uh, like a uh, like a uh, pump up shui really really good you can destroy ebonir really fast so that's for the first half and the second half the recommended type is man this is so good man electric and imaginary so uh, personally i will not use uh, using doctor ratio in the first half i will using doctor ratio in the second half because in the second half we really really need doctor ratio in here uh, like you can see in here is more trickier than the first one the first one is uh, quite maybe because can you uh, maybe you can tell is it a bit harder because there is a uh, like this uh, to do that can above the two boss uh, one boss in here this is not boss this is just another uh, minion too so yeah maybe you need to just destroy the, this boss because this boss can uh, paralyze your character but uh, i'm not really uh, worried about this one but in the second half one there is man this is gonna be annoying uh, uh, and the annoying is not that you cannot uh, destroy the character is more toward like you can uh, lose a lot of time because this in this uh, uh, enemy uh, composition is really, really annoying especially there's a uh, automaton beetle this one gonna be a uh, still still them step up so if you uh, like uh, too late destroying the the koi fish it's not gonna be destroying the the beetle it is gonna be destroying just just the the seal instead so you need really fast character man and in here you can using doctor ratio, uh, doctor ratio to just destroying the koi or kafka both are really really good to destroy the koi as long as you are building themselves uh, right there you go and the second phase in here are uh, serious Sirius is not gonna be uh, fighting with you like if you already playing in Wah Wah story she gonna uh, uh, drop up some enemy it's probably the same enemy as this one or maybe a bit different maybe there's a there's a you know the the tall lady with a uh, with an physical electric and imaginary uh, imaginary weakness the tall lady that uh, come out in the Wah Wah story so maybe that that's a uh, that's uh, gonna come out too but so far i think it's gonna be come out again so uh, that's it uh, as long as you are uh, have a good follow up attack in the second phase you probably uh, can make it make it yeah so i think uh, that's it if you like this kind of content you can go to panglima page in there you can find all of my social media and how to support me or just say hi when i'm live streaming next time so thank you so much and if there is uh, any uh, question you can asking me in the comments so see you again bye